okay, Scrum is beyond a tool. It's a life. It's a like life mechanism that um, it's going to not only help them learn what they're learning, it's going to want them to continue to learn anything, everything that comes their way. Because ultimately, that's what you want people to do. Whether they go to college or not, you want them to have the love for learning their entire life. Standards is kind of an academic way of helping that, but it's not the lifelong skill. And that's where I, I think now I have a better understanding of Scrum and describing it. In the classroom, you can take any of the Common Core standards, which is going to be across the entire country except four states. All right? So I, I use this. I'm the teacher, and I use... I understand the process of Scrum. What it's going to do then is it's going to allow you to take any standard and have the kids develop and reach those level of understandings on their own. Where the, you know, the product owner would be the teacher. And then you have your Scrum teams. And within the Scrum team, they have their Scrum master. And then that Scrum master would be obviously you know, talking with the product owner, which is the teacher. And... That's part of the discussion that I was listening to in this um, workshop I went to the other day, which was on Common Core, is that they were talking about how the kids are going to have to be able to come up with their own reasoning and understanding. That's really the way to go. And that's why it's just, I wish I would have had that type of thinking going into the interview. Mm. Because I now picture the teacher's a product owner, the children are the scrum, the scrum masters, the teacher can okay, here are the standards that we are going to have to go after, and the kids are going to be able to, once they understand the process, they're going to develop their own understanding, they're going to develop their own materials, they're going to develop their own way of thinking, which is what you need in the, in, in the business world, what you need in the world to survive and to have that com camaraderie, the collaboration. Um, that I, I just, I, I can't take it, I'm dry mouth, I'm caught mouth. <laughs> It's that good. So after uh, you went to you you went to a Common Core workshop, yeah, on Tuesday. On Tuesday, and that shed a lot of light about how Scrum isn't just like a supplemental thing, but you think could be the core of Common Core. It's the core. Yeah, I, I really believe after listening and you know these other educators talking about well you know they're you're going to need the project inquiry. You know, I have a science background. I mean, project inquiry is great and all that, but if I would have had this type of thinking when I was a science teacher years ago would have taken this over anything, no question about it. And I did. I wanted to jump up and start talking about it in this, but I know it would have completely gone in a different direction. And, and um, But I really believe that that's what educators need. But I truly believe, like even said in my interview, I go, I feel great about the kids at Corte because they are at the learning curve right now with businesses. And businesses are always telling schools and public education what to do well, right now we're with you doing it. So at least this school isn't going to have to be told what to do. They're going to be the ones telling others what to do. When these fifth graders teaching my fifth grade teachers next year, that we're going to have built-in scrum mini teams going in, you know, built into the class list. So I, I see it's something that's going to permeate. I see a ranger council getting better with it. I see, you know, we have a hot team for our RTI team. I just see it. It's good. Just it's going to be like an amoeba. This is going to take over everything. It's like a science. Again, I movie. see uh, more accountability to the teachers. It's, it's become more vulnerable. If, if they didn't do their job, they're exposed. And you have to be. You have to be vulnerable. You know, Without vulnerability, you're, you're not going to move anywhere. That's a dialogue. Dialogue is, is, is suspending assumptions and becoming vulnerable. So you can't have dialogue. Discussion is from the word percussion that bounces back and forth, like a drum back and forth. The dialogue is... Suspending assumptions and becoming vulnerable. And I see that that is what that promotes as a dialogue. And because it does put you out vulnerable. Well, shoot, I didn't double dose like I should have. I'm not being consistent. So when you're doing these in the PLCs, you're scrumming, you're looking at your goals, and you're coming back in your sprint, and you're going, okay, not really doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm not following the story. And I think, and overall, that's great for kids because... It's going to help the kids with their student achievement become better learners. It's just, I think it just it goes way beyond. It's, it's incomprehensible in some way. I see myself as like the product owner saying, you know, this is where I want Corte to be. So you need to get there. And, you know, I'll do whatever I can to help do that. But 
you know, okay, so here we have a classroom. We've done it. We have a, a, a pretty decent model going right now, and it's growing. So now we want to spread it to other grade levels. And I even said it in my interview. I said, I want Corte to be the scrumming school in the nation. And that all the other schools in the nation need to be doing this. So uh, that's my belief in it. So, yeah, I'm the product owner. In essence, the kids are the customer. We're working for the kids. But I have to be, in my position as a principal, the one that sets the framework so that the vision is... You know, the spearhead through the 21st century. And the only way you can do that is you got to have scrum with that. So. Awesome. Yeah. Right, this is, thanks, Chris. No problem.